So one of the projects that we're working on is electroclinic dewatering of phosphatic clay suspensions. So this is basically a waste product of the mining operations in Florida, where phosphatic phosphate is being mined to make fertilizer. The problem is that these, this effluent takes a long time to settle. It takes you know, 10, 20, 50 years. And in our, with our process, we can allow the separation to take place in about an hour and a half. I'm working on solar energy generation or conversion, uh, better to say. And uh, so my topic is how to convert uranium waste into energy in the form of hydrogen. So while my research doesn't focus explicitly on, say, reducing energy consumption, um, it focuses on increasing the longevity of structures. Specifically, I'm working on uh, structural health monitoring sensors, so preventing your bridge from collapsing early on so I can do an early intervention as opposed to having to rebuild from the beginning. So you get a savings in terms of the labor you have to put in and the raw materials you have to put in in terms of I prevent my bridge from collapsing early. So my work is mainly based on uh, wearable electronics, so I uh, work on graphene-based wearable electronics, my research area. So I particularly choose graphene for my work, graphene-based in inks I prepare, so it's because it's so environmentally friendly, it's mainly, uh, we know uh, carbon comes from nature, so it's potentially more environmental friendly. So I'm working on health applications of nanomaterials and biocompatibility is very important. Therefore we're trying to use natural ingredients to prepare these particles and yeah, the health issue is very important for us. So I'm focusing on making energy harvest based on 2D nanomaterial. They can um, convert mechanical vibrations surrounding us, like for example from voice to um, the use of electrical energy in the space application. Yeah.